Hi, how are you? My name is Marla, and I'm for Osborne Books and More, and I am with a literacy movement, and today I will show you how your organization at your education practice, um, Prager University, can use an influencer like me, and how my values for education and books that encourage and strengthen literacy can have a powerful and aligning effect force with Prager University. I was banned from Facebook for actually sharing research, my own research, because I am a paralegal, a certified paralegal, um, uh, and I, un I would uncover um, truth, little bits of truth here and there, um, with news sources um, and I wanted to get a discussion with my lawyer network um, about it and I was bullied on Facebook by my lawyer network um, just because I dared share and discuss but I joined Osborne Books and More because I'm a homeschool mom and I wanted to be part of a literacy movement um, to help improve the reading skills and a love of books uh, among young people. I believe that our visions um, are similar and that I can help you um, with content creation and education and sharing on my network. Before being banned from Facebook, um, I had joined Facebook back in, 20, in 2006 uh, when Facebook was pretty new and uh, I had a whole um, class of law students and we would play hypotheticals on Facebook and engage in discussion of legal cases and uh, news sources and try to uh, pull out um, the f facts and the truth of the facts. Um, and I grew over time since 2006, my network to 5,000. Um, and, and then when I joined Osborne Books and More, I had a group and I wanted to test it out. So I created a, a marketing group, a local marketing group here in, for the Denver and Colorado region. And I grew that group to 20,000 people. And I was sharing information and uh, with them about my business and also news information. And um, Facebook disabled me, I believe, because I would share information and um, that was unpopular with them, uh, such as uh, the recent BLM narrative that was being spread um, on Facebook. Um, and also the narrative that was being spread about uh, Trump, President Trump, I, I was getting a little annoyed um, uh, of all the hatred and the negativity around Trump. So I, I believe that those were little flags <laughs> that got me banned. So I've been off of um, Facebook for six months now and I've, uh, I've only been on LinkedIn, YouTube, and um, Twitter, but I don't use my Twitter account, uh, and uh, Instagram. Instagram is my second uh, network because the the last when I was banned from Facebook, they I had connected the la, that ban that Facebook page with my Instagram network, and so when I was banned, they also my net my original network on Instagram was removed, and so I signed on again under a different name, and they removed that name from Facebook, but they did not remove it. Uh, from the new, from the Instagram. So I've been trying to slowly grow that one and use it only to share uh, business. Um, and I share, you know, Prager you here and there. And <laughs> um, I can't help it, but I try not to get into discussions too much. Um, however, I've been growing it and, um, and I've been growing my, uh, LinkedIn network, which is, I think 7,000 is what I read, followers. Um, and um, that's where I'm at today. And I believe that 
that uh, joining with Prager and being uh, on the Prager Force um, will be fruitful for both of us. Um, I believe we have the same vision for educating people and enlightening them and awakening them to be more logical and be a better better readers and don't be taken by um, uh, false information and false propaganda. Um, anyways, um, hopefully this helps and I hope we can work together. Thanks.